Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Airbus A380 is one of the most advanced passenger planes produced by the aircraft giant Airbus. Though first introduced back in 2007, the aircraft continues to be a popular option among major airlines like British Airways, Qantas, and Emirates. As advanced as the aircraft is, some of the most impressive engineering in the A380 can actually be found underneath the plane itself. The plane's landing gear is designed by Safran Landing Systems, a French-based aerospace and defense corporation which creates and manufactures wheels, struts, brakes, and other landing gear components for both civilian and military aircraft. The company is known for using state-of-the-art engineering techniques and digital 3D modeling to create comprehensive landing gear systems for its customers. Prototyping and manufacturing are both done in-house, ensuring that each item meets the designer's specifications. This includes machining, heat treating, plating, and painting every part and component with laser-like precision. Once the parts are ready, the pieces are assembled on site so that they can be fully tested many times before being installed aboard an actual aircraft. Of course, landing gear testing doesn't end once the plane is fully assembled. In fact, this Boeing 747-8 is practicing what's known as a rejected takeoff. This is when the plane's pilot needs to apply the brakes while the aircraft is traveling at around 200 miles per hour. With the planes fully weighted at this speed, it can take a long time for the aircraft to stop. However, this particular evaluation is done with 100% worn-out brakes and without reverse thrusters. The pilot follows standard takeoff procedures during the test, accelerating up before slamming on the brakes at the midway point of the runway. In this case, the aircraft came to a stop a full 700 feet before it was expected to. This is a real testament to the efficiency of the braking system. Commercial aircraft are not the only large-scale planes in need of high-quality landing gear. The C-5 Galaxy, for instance, is widely considered one of the most important heavy-duty cargo planes in the U.S. military's arsenal. At 247 feet long and boasting a wingspan of 222 feet, the C-5 is capable of carrying payloads weighing up to 281,000 pounds, be it supplies, vehicles, or even tanks. The C-5's massive bulk requires a rather unique landing gear configuration. In 
In this case, the nose of the fuselage has a single strut with two tires on each side. At the midpoint under the wings, there are two sets of additional landing gear, all of which have six tires. This gives the C5 a total of 28 wheels. The rear wheels also deploy sideways before straightening out which helps the design better fit into the underside of the fuselage. Compare this to the C-130 Hercules, a much smaller aircraft, but a much more versatile transport plane. Despite being just 97 feet long, the Hercules can carry an impressive 42,000 pound payload, including up to 92 passengers, two to three Humvees, and up to two Stryker armored personnel carriers. Unlike the C-5, the C-130 is also intended to operate from a much more diverse assortment of runways, including those covered in everything from dirt and sand to ice and snow. Its landing gear is designed extremely close to the fuselage, with four total wheels in the rear and one double wheel at the nose. The rear wheels also retract vertically into the fuselage rather than deploying horizontally like those aboard the C-5. All things considered, this design allows the plane to operate from even the roughest surfaces. Even the most well-designed and engineered landing gear will need to undergo frequent maintenance throughout its lifetime. After all, these components are frequently exposed to high stress, extreme temperatures, corrosive elements and more. U.S. Air Force landing gear is maintained and overhauled at the 532nd Commodities Maintenance Squadron, or CMMXS. A state-of-the-art facility equipped with all of the tools needed to repair, overhaul, and modify landing gear, brakes, and wheels for all Air Force weapon systems. The site features more than 300 highly skilled technicians and has multiple partnerships with aircraft systems manufacturers and other military contractors. With its high quality restoration efforts, the CMMXS can take even heavily damaged landing gear components and return them to like new condition. Of course, landing gear maintenance is also something that needs to be done in the field, sometimes at air bases that are nowhere near as well equipped as the CMMXS facility. To ensure ground crews are properly prepared to work on these advanced landing gear systems, Shepard's Air Force Base developed a special landing gear trainer. This is essentially an independently operating piece of forward landing gear that includes all of the same components as the real thing. It provides the same training experience. However, it doesn't require an aircraft to be taken out of commission to facilitate crew member education.
The U.S. Air Force is well aware of the importance of landing gear to the safety of both pilots and equipment. It's known as the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research and Small Business Technology Transfer Program. And it recently helped produce what's known as magnetron sputtering. This is essentially a new way of repairing landing gear cylinders to nearly brand new condition. In fact, it's theorized that this new technology might save the Air Force two to three million dollars a year. Indeed, the U.S. Air Force has several facilities aimed at keeping the organization at the forefront of technological development. These include the Metals Technology Shop at Cannon Air Force Base in New Mexico. Here, talented welders work with engineers to create a wide range of parts and products. These parts range from integral life or death components to fun accessories to maintain morale among pilots and ground crews. Many of these metal technology shops are integral to keeping some of the older model planes in the air. After all, many of the components used when these aircraft were assembled stopped being produced decades ago. The metal shop's job is to evaluate and reconstruct each part to keep the planes in the air. Trying to throw apart for him? Mm -hmm. Trying to throw apart. The Air Force also operates what's known as the Sustainment Center. The goal of this facility is to maintain weapon system readiness by performing evaluations, repairs, and installation. They also handle logistics for replacement parts and components, ensuring they get where they need to go on time, every time. These men and women work behind the scenes to ensure the Air Force can complete its mission. And while they might not receive any medals for their efforts, they are just as important to the process as anyone on the front lines. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.